and these dudes were not ready at all. But oh well, seems the show must go on. And everyone was met with silence. Bro, I went off on that kid. Yo! What's up, guys? It's your boy, Orange Guy Animations. And oh, do I have a mega, ultra, max prestige, banger video for you guys today. Because we're continuing last week's video, which you totally watched, right? But it's okay if you didn't watch it, because the card to watch it is right there. And I suggest you go and watch that video if you didn't. Okay, quick recap of last week's video. I was in a group project with some random kids in my class, and these dudes did absolutely nothing for the project. This, this ain't me. But it was okay, because I was not gonna let that slide so easily. Cause can't nobody mess with your boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So continuing from where we left off, I gave the other actor in our group the script that I made entirely myself in one night. And this kid looked terrified. He looked at that script and knew there was absolutely no way he was memorizing all of that in five minutes. But it was okay because he was about to learn a lesson. So the teacher was setting up for everyone's game show presentation. And the class was as it usually is on a presentation day. Some kids are super confident and ready to present. And some kids are questioning if they're gonna pass the class after this assignment because they made a terrible decision in not participating in their group assignment. For me though, I was big chilling. Because I was the one who made the slideshow. I was the one who wrote the script. So I knew everything I needed to do and was ready to present. And on top of that, I get to humiliate an idiot for being a terrible group member? Oh yeah, today's a good day. So the first couple groups went and presented, and they actually did pretty good. Some of them even brought costumes. But then it was our turn to present. And these dudes were not ready at all. Not to mention that one of our group members didn't even show up on presentation day. So these two were even more cooked than before. But oh well, seems the show must go on. So in our group, or at least what was left of it, we still had both of our actors. And this guy too, but he was useless. All he was gonna do was turn off the lights. Are you serious, my brother? But the actors were actually doing the presentation. And the popular kid was gonna be the guest, and I was gonna be the host of our game show. Which means I'm gonna be the one who has to start our presentation. And bro, I had the most fire opening ever. But I don't exactly remember what I said. Oh my god! But after whatever I said, I had the whole class applauding. But oh, the show hasn't even started. Thank you everyone, but I want to introduce you to our guest, some guy who has something to do with this topic of the project, but I don't remember what it was, so I'm going to leave it as this. Man, let me tell you, it is great to have you on the show. Tell the crowd, how's things treating you, man? Um, uh, things are going good. And right after he said that, I knew I had him right where I wanted him. Because just yesterday he was so loud and outgoing when he should have been working on the project. But now he's all shy and nervous. Oh, this is gonna be good. Well, that's enough chit chat. Let's get into the actual game show. All right, man, first question, what is the Pythagorean theorem? and everyone was met with silence. Just as expected. You all right there, buddy? <laughs> Looks like he's a bit stage fright. <laughs> Wait a minute, is it possible you actually don't know the answer? That's crazy. <gasps> yeah, oh my gosh, is it? 
Please do better Please sometime. Not. You know, you can go ahead and read off the script if you really can't memorize your lines. But I hope you know that we're about to fail this project. All because of you. Okay, everyone. I think our group here is ready to wrap up their presentation. Bro, I went off on that kid. As soon as he got silent after I asked the first question, oh, he was met with no mercy. Everybody in that class was talking about him. And this fool was getting red from embarrassment. And oh, he earned every second of that embarrassment. And the craziest part, I still got a good grade. Because I ended up having to go to the teacher and explain that I was the one who did everything while these goobers were just goofing off in the background. And the teacher was like, yeah, I could tell, and it will definitely reflect in their grade, but your grade will be fine. Moral of the story, can't nobody mess with your boy. That's why he's the goat. The goat. Moral of the story, don't goof around when you should be working, especially if it's in a group project, cause that's not fair to your group members. And if your group members happen to be a Giga Chad Storytime animator whose favorite color happens to be orange, it definitely won't end well for you. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy, and Cards Orange Guy. Yes, sir. Uh, you know what it is. You know what it is. Bro, I lit that kid up, bro. I had no mercy. Don't mess with your boy. You already know how it goes. It never ends well. Your boy's undefeated. Yes, sir. Yeah, bro. I went crazy. But check out OJDripShop.com. Pretty cool place. And, uh, you know, because I'm undefeated, I uh, am unstoppable. So you should subscribe because if you don't, you can't stop me because I'm insane. Well, I'm not insane, but... I'm, I'm, okay. I'ma just, what am I saying, bro? Just subscribe! Just subscribe!